Hello and welcome to the Merle and Locke podcast. I'm Merle. No, I'm Locke. Set sail and low expectations for everything nerd. Accompanied by a healthy, albeit shameful, helping to pointless banter, like folks said, questionably acquired knowledge. And more. And more. So for today's topic, Locke, I wanted to get into our recent forays into Sea of Thieves, season 11. Aye. Aye. All right. So there's been... There's been a lot of negativity around, you know, the whole safer seas thing, which we we've gone into before. Yeah, yeah. So so we don't necessarily need to go into that again, but uh, we're also getting in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, we're we're also been getting into uh, the high seas again. Uh, just you know, for I don't know. On, on my part, it's more I don't know. It's more exciting, isn't it? Like I, I I I appreciate you know the higher seas and those interactions with other people, and so far they they've been pretty good. They've been pretty enjoyable, uh, in in my opinion. Uh, I've really really loved them. Like doing a little bit of PvP here and there and testing our skills. You know, like some some of these people that we end up fighting against, especially the people that are you know out for blood, right? Where they just see us from a distance and they just beeline it towards us. Naturally. Uh, you, you, you can feel the blood just building up behind their eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like there was this, um, the other day we were playing and we were doing something which is called the, um, the Fort of Fortunes, right? Which is something I've never done before simply because it's always, you know, a little bit too risky and overpopulated. Right, yeah. where yeah. like a lot, a lot of people are going for those uh, chests of fortune, which I I don't think they're in the fort of fortunes anymore. I think they're in the the fleet of fortune uh, events where you have to, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know if it's just one skelly ship you have to fight, one big skelly ship, or if it's multiple. But uh, like we we came in on one. And we, <laughs> this this fleet of fortune, like we, we came in and there was already two ships fighting, right? There's an emissary and there is uh, of some description. And then there is a, a reaper, of course. There's always a reaper somewhere. Always. But, uh, but <laughs> Wouldn't we... Wouldn't be a Sea of Thieves without a reaper. Uh, yeah, so we, we came in on this event and there was only one skeleton ship AI that I saw. And the rest of the time, it was just, you know, fighting off these other two uh, player ships. And, man, it was rough. Like, I don't know how we survived, but just by the skin of our teeth, right? <laughs> and and it was it was so funny. But before before I get to that one, I, I feel like I should go back to the, the Ford of Fortune, which we had done just prior to that. Which was like, it's just like the Skelly Fort, right? Where you go in, you fight these waves of enemies on this little island. And then there's uh, a big boss by the end of it that you have to you have to fight and defeat. And once you defeat him, he drops a key. That key unlocks a door on the in, in the fort which a whole, with a whole bunch of treasures inside. So so we did all that. We went through. I saw we saw no one on the horizon, right? We were like, "Oh man, we're we're going to come out with this clean." Yeah. And we went in. We got all the treasure like out of the out of the treasure treasure room and we set it up so we could harpoon everything down. And as we were harpooning everything down, I looked behind me and what do I see? I see a little reaper uh sloop like trying to hide behind a big a a big sea stack, you know, trying to be trying sneaky. To, yeah, trying to stay out of sight. And I was like, oh boys, okay. So I was like, I was like, we we need to get on the ship. We need to take care of this right now because he's he's gonna try and uh, and take our loot. And it was just one guy, one guy on the sloop. But but yeah, this guy ended up being pretty good. So we we got into a fight with them. We we were we were on a brig, so we were, we were a three man ship, and we we're battling it out with this guy doing a whole bunch of naval, you know, obviously because he was by himself, so he couldn't he it'd be a lot harder for him to try and board us, you know, being by himself didn't want to lose a ship, but he was just dominating in in the naval battle, 
and it was so difficult to to get a line on him because he was just he he was out maneuvering us at every turn and we couldn't keep up with him and i love i love the naval battle aspect right i i love trying to do that because it's very challenging you know you have to be you have to pay attention to every single detail like uh, the length of your of your sails so you can get the turn radius to get angles with your cannons you got to keep up on repairs and and there's a lot to keep up with and i find it very challenging and and fun but we couldn't keep up with this guy so i was like you know what you guys take the ship i'm jumping off i'm gonna board this guy so you know at that point you know it felt it felt a little dirty right i I mean i i realized like you know it's it's a solid strategy it's you know there's nothing wrong with it necessarily it's just that i i like to usually keep to the naval battles because i you know find it more of a a a fair fight you know for the most part especially since we were a three man against a, a single guy but, you know, I was like, I don't want to lose this loot, so I'm going to board him. So I boarded him, and I killed him a, a few times, and, you know, disrupted his flow so that he couldn't, you know, repair or, or fight back. And we ended up sinking the guy. But, you know, he was a good sport about it. He he was like, after I took him out and his, and his ship sank... He was like, "Hey, GG, man. Uh, that, that was that was a good fight." And I was like, "All right, man. Yeah, GGs. You know, it was it was it was good fun, and he was a good sport, and and I appreciated that. And then, you know, after that, we got on our ship, got the rest of our loot, and we sold it all at the outpost. And then and then that's when we saw the um, the fleet of fortunes, which is the the big ship battle." So we show up there, and that Reaper that we had fought before, you know, he was there. Yeah, he was there at the Fleet of Fortunes. But the, at this point, he he got another crewmate, right? Which, I mean, good on him. He, you know, getting another crewmate to help him out so he could participate in the events and what have you. And between that guy and the other other sloop that was there, we, we thought maybe we had a good chance, right? Because we were three men. You know, obviously we outnumber these guys, but these guys were absolute crackheads, man. Like it was, it was so they rough fighting these guys. Whatever it was. Oh man, it was awful. Like once they, once one of their guys boarded, like this guy was just hopping all over the place. I was having the most trouble getting, uh, getting a line on him and, and, and getting a few sh- shots into him. And he was just messing with us the entire time our ship almost sank but somehow you know after we killed him off he we were able to make repairs get the anchor back up get the sails down and start maneuvering again you know like popping shots off and eventually the the uh between us three battling each other like we we got the the ai ship down and and sunk it dropped all the loot and we saw the reaper uh the reaper guy he was he was trying to pick up as much as that loot of that loot as he could you know he was like in between the fighting he was harpooning it up trying to capture it all and i was like i got the same idea i was like man let's let's see if we could just sneak some of this loot so so after the emissary and the the reaper started fighting it out a little bit they were they were throwing their dukes and and we snuck in Took some of the loot. It wasn't any like particularly good loot, but we got as much of it as we could. And at that point, we 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 had a another skelly sloop just show up on uh, a random spawn. It wasn't part of, of an event or anything. Just a random spawn uh, AI galleon popped up out of the water and started battling with us. So I was like, okay, so we'll battle with this guy, but I'm also gonna lead him away from these two sloops because. You know, I still want to get out of here with the loot we have. I want to take out this AI Skelly and get his loot, and then we'll get to an outpost and and get rid of everything. So, so that's what we did. We like I made, you know, a straight path to to the outpost, and we had the AI Skelly on us, and we were battling the whole time. And once we took him down, we got his loot, and then we continued on going towards the the uh, outpost now 
the entire time, right? We saw behind us the two sloops. They turned around and they kind of they stopped fighting each other, and they just started coming towards us. And I was like, I was like, man, like, like it went through my mind. I was like, I was like, what do they think? Like they have the chest of fortune. Why are they coming after us? We don't, we don't have anything good. And like, I just, I, it just baffled me. I was like, why would you guys risk it? You have the chest. Right. Right. But, but like at that point I thought maybe they're just, you know, they're just there to do the ship battles. They're, they don't really care about the loot. They're just there to do ship battles, which I mean, props to them, you know, good on them. I mean, that that's, that's the Reaper's biggest income is like, that's how they gain rank is just by ship battles alone. So, yeah. And, and yeah, so, so that was, that was fine, but they, they started setting off all these fireworks, right? And usually, you know, when you set off fireworks for other ships, like it, usually it's a sign of like, you know, we're probably friendly. Yeah. And they were, they were setting those off and man, we were sitting there like, uh, like, I don't know. Like, I feel like this guy's just trying to lure us back, you know? And, and to to start getting into another fight again. So I was like, man, you know what, screw it. I'll just keep going towards the outpost and, and we'll we'll see if they, they verge off or anything. But then <laughs> then a Kraken, you know, we got Kraken. Where like the, the ink pool comes up, which like pretty much stops your ship dead in its tracks and the tentacles you know, come up from the water. And... The funniest part uh, about that is that uh, one of our other crewmates was already wishing that a Kraken would pop up on the other ships. Yes, we got <laughs> jinxed so hard. Yeah, he was just saying that. Yep. And I was like, I was like, we got Kraken. You jinxed us. And, <laughs> and this thing came up and started like knocking us about. And then I started hearing the other crew. Right, they got they got close enough now, and they were just uh, outside the border of the of the kraken, and uh, they started like shouting at us, and they were like they were laughing, and they were like, "Ha ha, we summoned this or whatever," acting like it's a Yu Gi Oh battle. I summoned a kraken <laughs> in defense yeah. mode, and it was so funny, man, because like I started screaming back at them, like going into the game chat. And I was like, I was like, damn you, Reapers and your witchcraft, you know, like, just like, you know, just talking shit back and forth with these guys. And it was so funny. And we were both, both sides were laughing. And then they, they came aboard our ship and we started fighting them off a little bit. Uh, but then they started helping us, you know, we, we kept talking shit back and forth, like making fun, like making light of the situation just having a good time. And then they started helping us bail. They started helping us do repairs and stuff and, and helping us get it out of this situation. And then they're like, hey, raise your raise your alliance flag, you know? And so we did. We, we raised our alliance flag and we ended up getting alliance with both of those sloops that we were fighting with at the event. Everybody was just all friends now. Like everybody was on a team now. And, and that was great. And then we... We went to it. We continued on after getting out of the Kraken's grasp. We we got to an outpost. Everybody went to separate outposts. And we all turned in loot, and we got credit for like the the chest of fortune and everything. And we got a bunch of a bunch of money for it. And like it all ended up being something awesome, right? Like it all, you know, it all started out with like these heavy battles you know competing against each other but we were just showing good sportsmanship towards one another and by the end of it we were like you know ggs all around let's just alliance up and we'll sell off our loot and and we'll all profit from this because you know we we're all just you know playing a game together and having fun and and i that was it kind of solidified my love like that all that nostalgia i had for the high seas and all those awesome interactions that i had it kind of solidified that for me and made me appreciate it all the more right so like i i like i feel like i've been spoiled for so long you know <laughs> going to safer seas and just not having anything to worry about you know and just you know having having a good time but 
man, like that interaction with those people was just so solid. And, and I absolutely loved it. Now, now you hear my opinion of it. I know I've been rambling for quite some time now. <laughs> uh, I would like to hear like your, your opinions on, on that whole, that whole day, like all the interactions we had and, and everything that was going through your mind and, and whether or not you, you know, have a new appreciation or a renewed appreciation for the higher seas. Uh, I can tell you that I had so many emotions going through my head between the stress of trying to keep everything together and then the confusion because what I did not tell you or our other crewmate was that I noticed you were asking about how we stayed afloat during that battle. I believe that I know the reason why because I seen it and I was confused <laughs> and I can't hear the in-game chat like you can. I turn that off. I just would rather not hear certain people's voices in the game. So I noticed that they were they were bailing. They were bailing for us. Yep. Even after they <laughs> killed us off, I'd seen them scoop up Bucket after he, he killed you and he killed our other crewmate. He grabs his bucket, goes down, and I hear the scoop and I see him throw it and I go, what is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm still trying to just, like, chew it at him and whatnot. I'm trying to keep things together. I'm even grabbing my bucket, trying to grab a couple of scoops uh, before he inevitably kills me in the midst of his jumping around. So, yeah. No, yeah, they, they were keeping us afloat. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but that person and, and I, we were both bucketing. And I, I was still trying to shoot at him because I have no idea what's going on. I... <laughs> yeah, it, it was funny too because he kept because uh, he kept like calling to me because he knew that I was the only one with game chat. Yeah, and he was you, like, "You were the only one responding." Yeah, so he kept yelling out to me. He's like, "He's like, tell him not to kill me. Tell him not to kill me." <laughs> <laughs> and I was, Oh man, it, it was it was so funny. It, it was so fun. I absolutely loved that whole that whole you know session that we had, and and getting into combat with those guys and and they were just jokes all around, man. It was absolutely incredible meeting those guys and uh, like we we didn't send friend requests or anything, you know, exchange friend requests or nothing, you know, but but just just. You know, meeting those guys that one time, some solid dudes, and that's what, uh, man, I, I, I feel like I feel like we get soured so much when we play High Seas in Sea of Thieves, but, you know, it makes it, it makes it, at least to me, it makes it so much more worth it when we have these rare interactions with just, you know, solid people. I do do have missed the rare good occasions of running into good groups of people on there who are just kind of throwing some goofs and gaffs and yeah uh, yeah absolutely not not trying to be uh, real a holes about anything but uh, before the safer thieves and uh, safer seas and all that there there was uh, just a big period of people who were just for no reason at all becoming like uh try hard players where they're like I, I must sink people I must be as uh, as much of a pain in the ass as possible <laughs> yeah just griefers yeah. In, in general Absolutely. yeah no I get that yeah but I I feel like a lot of people have been you know fussing that the uh that the Sea of Thieves game it's you know it's the community is like dying off, but I, I feel like the longer we go, the more concentrated it gets in people that actually have, you know, love and adoration for the game and, and the interact good interactions that they've had like along the way, right? These, these griefers, they, they only get so much out of the game, right? They, they get the mechanics, you know, uh, of, of the battles and what have you. But that only goes so far, you know, like I, it's, it's a lot of fun doing these big battles and stuff, but you can only have so much fun doing that after so long, right? Before you kind of lose interest and, and want to move on to, to another game or something. But well, there's nobody else to grieve. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, now I'm bored. 
Uh, yeah, I feel like there's there's a big concentration, you know, developing of, you know, solid people that just love, you know, the social interaction and, and you know, the good times that can be had when you, you know, are a good sport and, and you know, you're supportive towards other players, you know, and I don't know, just work together with people. Um, it's it's pretty great. And I, I love that part of the community, which I mean, it, it'll it'll probably it'll keep me coming back because, you know, this game's been out for so long already. And it's true. It's been what, t 2016 or something like that. Yeah, must have been. <laughs> but man, like we, we I just keep keep coming back to it because I, I just I love it. And yeah, so I'm I'm excited for the days to come. <laughs> here we go here we go thank you for joining us on the marlin lock podcast if you enjoyed this banter please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash merle and lock or simply follow the link in the description thank you